What's up guys, this is Pablo from Style Systems, your image consultant and your style lifestyle designer. <laughs> I hope I have your attention. Quick update. I'm back in Mexico City, I'm here visiting my mom. Now she's too shy and she doesn't want to show up. Mom, where are you? <laughs> so there's a cat. Where's mom? You gotta, oh, they're my sister. I just visited, I just happened to visit them. And uh, this is a quick update, all right? Now I'm here because as you know, you will be... Man, these parking dogs, they follow me everywhere. God damn, man, shit. <laughs> so anyway, you know, as you know, I'm applying for the citizenship in America. So it's a long process. You will be witnessing the process of me becoming, doing it legally. I support doing this the legal way. Fuck illegals. <laughs> Anyway, whatever. I'm not gonna get into politics. Uh, so I'm here, and I I got a question from from Neil Kerr. I think that's that's your name, Mr. Neil Kell Kerr. I don't know your correct name, because that's how you show up uh, in Facebook. And you asked me that what's my thought on second hand clothes. And let me give you a story. Yesterday was uh, as I was. Uh, well, early this morning, actually, I was traveling in the airport. The U.S. officers, you know, they're very strict. They're very, you know, they have to be like that because of the security and all that. And they were treating everyone very, what's the word? They were very, they were being very hard on everyone. They were like, hey, move here, move that. And the moment they saw me, they were stuck. Literally, I got told at least 15 to 10 times, boss. How are you, boss? How are you feeling today, boss? Please this way, boss. Have a nice day, boss. And at least on, uh, so on my surroundings, I was the only person that I got asked that. And for a moment there, I was very surprised. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> is it my mustache or what? Then I realized that it is your image. Now to answer your question, I was wearing uh, this jacket, by the way. And this jacket cost me I don't know, I found it on a, in, in downtown and it was very fucking cheap. <laughs> really, really cheap. You see, I do not think in terms of brands. I want you to stop thinking about brands. I just had a, another personal se uh, shopping session and something that I always see in people is this mentality of GQ magazines, this mentality of other gurus, stylists and all that. And one thing that you need to understand is that these people, they get paid commissions to buy uh, brands. Let's say that Armani uh, hires me as a personal consultant, as, as a stylist. So I'm gonna push onto you all the products of Armani. I'm gonna tell you all. I don't know if you're aware that Armani has the best quality in clothing. I don't know if you're aware of this, but Armani has the best fabrics. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm gonna sell you on that because I'm gonna get commissions out of it. Stylists and personal shoppers, that's how they make money. Now, I am an image consultant, a professional image consultant, a scientist of image, an imagologist, all right? We're completely different than stylists, hairstylists, and all those bullshit motherfuckers, all right? They just deal with the tip of the iceberg. We see the whole picture. So I do not think in terms of brands. I never say, oh, you should be wearing this brand or this brand. I mean, sometimes I do it, but because it, it, it is based on the theory of style, which remember, there are seven different styles. So depending on your style, let's say that you are a uh, dramatic style. Well, if you have a dramatic style, I will not recommend to you to buy Brooks Brothers, you know, because they are so, they're very classic. You get what I'm saying, right? I would recommend maybe for you, for the purpose of this video, uh, Versace. Versace is a very dramatic style. So uh, I do not think in terms of, of, of brands. And I do not think in terms of, of, of how much money did you spend on one single item. Now, of course, there are some brands, there, there's quality and there's quality. All right. We must understand this. There's quality in, in, in fabrics. There's quality in the cut of the suit or the blouse or the shirt. Of course, you, you are investing or, or spending your money in quality. But understand, this is why I created the formula of perfection, which covers my system. I created a system called the SPFC system. Basically, that is silhouette, 
proportion, fit, and color. If you apply these four rules, it doesn't matter if you just bought something on a second-hand store. You have to think in terms of silhouette, proportion, fit, and color. If you understand these four elements, basic elements, you have discovered the formula of perfection and you will look at your best always, regardless if, if you're wearing Armani, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, Ferragamo, it doesn't matter, man. If you're wearing something of second hand, it's okay. If you just bought something on a thrift shop, it's okay. Remember, people don't give a fuck. People don't give a fuck. I just did a video on it. People don't care about, about that shit. Oh, I just realized that I did a video for my program, my Power of Image program. Maybe I'll share some knowledge on that on another video. Uh, people are so in, inside of their own heads, they don't really pay attention to, oh, he's wearing Ferragamo. And if they are, who gives a fuck anyway, man? Who gives a fuck if you're wearing Dolce & Gabbana or not, man? Shit. The, point of the, 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 the fact of the matter is that I look good based on my silhouette, based on my proportion, based on my colors or colorimetry, and based on my uh, fit, based on my style. I re remember people that want to be wearing all that uh, these brands all the time and show it is because they want the, or they need the validation of the outside. They need to to get, oh, look at me, this is Versace, just so you know. Oh, this is, uh, this is Dolce & Gabbana, just so you guys know. Oh, look at me, look, I'm so important, I'm so rich. Well, I, no, 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 no. I did an awesome lecture on my Power of Image program for my inner students, my inner circle, and I and I spoke about the philosophy of beauty. You see, beauty is not about... When, when the Romans or the Greeks were talking about beauty, they were not thinking in terms of brands. Like, oh, who's got the most money? Like, get the fuck out of here, man. It's deeper than that. It has to do with art. It has to do with proportion, with still the divine proportion. It's way, way deeper than that. So I'm representing that, the Fibonacci sequence... If you're familiar with that, if you don't, if you're not familiar with the divine proportion, then do your own re research. I'm putting that and implementing it into ourselves, into a human being. So when you dress yourself, or when you put on your makeup, or when you choose your haircut, your facial hair, you know exactly what you're doing, and you have proportion, divine proportion. You are like a like a painting, like an art, right? So that's. That's my opinion on secondhand uh, clothing. I don't care. As long as you, I've always, you've always heard me saying this, your best friend is your tailor. So you can buy at a thrift shop, whatever, you can buy your clothes, whatever the fuck you want to buy them. But it is very important that if you're buying shit off the rack, you, ha you get your tailor, but not a tailor, not a regular tailor from uh, Nordstrom or a tailor from Hugo Boss. No, 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 no. Those are like generic tailors. You need those old fashioned tailors like when our grandfathers used to go. Those tailors that know everything about you and you can ask them for specific things. For example, in one of my shirts, I will on another video I will show you, I asked my tailor to change the thread, you know, the, the strings or the, even the color of the buttons of my shirt. I literally told him I wanted to change all of the, of the buttons. On this jacket that I found very fucking it was very cheap and I found it downtown. I asked him to change the buttons and it uh, to, and made it, uh, he made it uh, tailor. He tailored it so it can fit my proportions and now it looks phenomenal, right? So don't pay too much attention. Don't give too much attention on the brand or how much money. Oh, this jacket cost me $600. No, man, it actually this cost me like, I don't know, maybe even 20 bucks, man. <laughs> but you see, it's the way that you project it. It's the way that you carry yourself. Remember that the outfit does not make the man, the man makes the outfit. So if you see me wearing this, you may think that this is tailored suit, this is very expensive, but in reality, this cost me like 20, 25 bucks. Shit. Something to keep in mind, all right? I'm not seeing your comments. Uh, I will read them later. With that, I'm gonna leave you. Oh, you will see me pretty soon. I will be back in America in a month. This whole process takes a long time becoming an American citizen. And be grateful, guys, for the for the people that live there. I want you to be grateful. You live in a beautiful, amazing country, and people like me that want to be there, you know, be, want to be surrounded by money and success. We must go through a lot of paperwork and all that shit. But so, another 
golden nugget, be grateful with, with what you have right now, okay? And strive for more, become the best version of yourself, and I will see you, my friends, on the next one.